Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for singles. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for singles. So if you're coupled and you are watching, this is not for you. Because if you're coupled, you know, you shouldn't be watching a singles reading because you should have the integrity to get out of it before. I mean... So, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to see what we got coming up for May for singles. You got a crossroads, okay? This is choosing. You may have a new discovery. You may be seeing something new right in front of you. You may be ready to step over that edge. You, there could be a new exciting opportunity that's like you see it, and now you just got to take it. Oh, my God. So, yes, and this is a totally, like, a, oh, my God, this is an exciting new adventure. It's an exciting new opportunity. You may have this newfound excitement within yourself that it's time to go. It's time to leave whatever, something behind. Um, this is good news coming in. Something good is coming. This somebody could be, could, you could be, see this. <laughs> see, I'm even getting too excited. So there is excitement here. Um <laughs> Let me just get the rest of the cards. Ooh, very curious energy. Um, very energetic. So there's just like, because that's how I'm feeling. You know what I mean? You probably are vibrating at a very high level. You're probably feeling an, a surge of energy this week. You're probably looking very attractive. You could have somebody that's seeing your attractiveness. You're probably feeling very invigorated, very curious, very excited. Um, you may have somebody that is striking your fancy or they're seeing you as striking their fancy. Whatever. We go either way. Um, <clears throat> well, things change real fast. Anyway, we're going to keep going. Um, be careful. Okay, be careful. Because you may be dealing with a couple. There's, you could be dealing with somebody that's already in a partnership. I can see your excitement. I can see your excitement. I can see that you you probably have this new vision or you have this new attraction or you're attracted to somebody. Be careful. Be careful. If you're dealing with a uh, air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, be careful. They may already be in a relationship, Okay. I gotta be honest with you. You could be dealing with somebody who's already in a relationship and they may be using you as a toy. I mean, you could just be, they don't care who they hurt. They could be using you to prove a point to somebody, you know, as a rebound thing. Just be careful. They may see your attractiveness. They may see your excitement, you know. They may see the, they may see that you're, you know, very enthusiastic, you know, and that you're impulsive because there's kind of an impulsive energy here. There is. They may see that, you know, they can take advantage of you. So I've got to be honest with you. It may not lead to anything solid and stable. You could be dealing with somebody who's flirting with you and they are already in a partnership. So be careful. They could be telling you lies. Uh... Um, you may just want to walk away from that whole situation. I just got to be honest with you, okay? So this is a change in direction, a change of course. Some, this is good luck, something good coming into your life. Um, my stomach is growling and I don't know why. Um, there's lack of working together, lack of teamwork. So... I don't know. This is for singles, so hold on. Let me just focus this. Lack of respect. You, really, you need to be careful, okay? Because you could you could run into somebody and get really excited about this opportunity. There's some flirting going on, and this person may not be telling you the whole truth, okay? They may be being dishonest with you. I got I I gotta tell you what I see. All right, I see that you know. <laughs> These people may be having some family feuds. They may be fighting. You are, i got to be honest with you, you're single, right? You're watching this, you're single. There's some family issues here. There's some family feuds. I mean, it could be you. You could be dealing with parents. If you're young, 
There could be some issues at home. There could be some issues at home and you decide to go on a new adventure. You decide to broaden your horizons. You decide to move out. Some of you may be deciding to move out and go your own way because there's you're being controlled by your parents. I mean, I'm just saying. It could be, you could be, whatever. Somebody is deciding to walk away from a couple, okay? So... Just be careful. I mean, there's there's a couple here. There is a couple here, and somebody is walking away from a couple. So don't get distracted. Try to stay focused, okay? Because I see that somebody is excited, but they could get distracted by their own desires, you know? Just, just be really careful here. Um, this is broadening your horizons, starting in a new direction, starting over. Some of you may be deciding to just go in a completely new direction. Maybe you're planning a move. Honestly, you may be planning on moving. Um, you could be moving away from a partner. Maybe you've just become single and there's still some issues. Maybe there's still some issues and maybe you're, maybe you're not quite ready. Maybe you're at the very beginning of a new journey. The very, very beginning. And you're excited for this new journey. And you're in the process of manifesting a new beginning. Um, hmm. You know, you don't want to bite off more than you can chew. Now, this 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 King of Wands can lose their focus, lose their concentration, and do things that lack integrity. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. This this this, this could be um, somebody that is very controlling trying to control situations, somebody that has lost control of themselves or can't control themselves. There could be some anger here. There could be some arguments going on this week. I, I mean, I just got it. There could be some arguments going on between you and a couple people or you and another person or something that causes you to get upset. I mean, i got to be honest with you. That may make you decide to just move in a new direction completely. I feel like this is not a lover. I mean, it could be a lover, but I think it's, I keep feeling like it's a family member. It could be a child, could be a parent, could be a sibling. Uh, this is putting in effort, working hard. I think you are working hard. I think you are working hard to grow your abundance. You're working hard to change your life direction. You're working hard to, you're trying to work with somebody. You're trying to make something work, but it's not working because they're not putting effort. They're stealing their energy. They're they're bitter. They're resentful. They're mean. I <laughs> Oh my God. So I feel like you guys are really putting in effort. You're trying to remain focused and you're trying to do the right thing and you're really excited about your future, but you still got this person or these people that want to cut you down or they are cutting you down or they're holding you back from the good things in life. So you do have an opportunity for love here, though, a partnership. This is love. This is a union. Probably after you move. After you get out of this unhealthy home situation, whatever it is. Somebody is in a contract that is... It's a karmic contract. Somebody is in a karmic contract that is bringing imbalance to their lives. It's causing upheaval. Somebody is in a, in a union partnership contract that is not harmonious in any way. It's troublesome. It is. It's keeping them stuck from success. Seriously. So, there could be some legal issues that are coming to the table this week. Somebody's not telling the truth. Somebody's lying. You are dealing with a miserable son of a bitch. And I don't know who this person is, but you got somebody. And this is, this is for singles. You got somebody that is, is basically messing up your partnership potential. Your partnership success. I think that you're working really, really hard to change things and you're working hard to probably, you know, find a successful partnership to find something perfect for you. But you've got somebody here that is really causing disharmony in your life. 
and you need to move. You need to move. It seems so. I feel like you guys are being distracted by a negative individual in your life that is hindering your success, and it sucks. It bothers me. Um, but you probably have a bigger, better, a better, more exciting opportunity, and you probably see it, or you. It may come to. It may show up for you this week. Maybe you get this new opportunity that allows you to broaden your horizons and go down that new path. <sighs> but you're going to have to leave somebody out in the cold. That's what I see. I think whoever you're dealing with has left you to fend for yourself and you probably need to keep going. Let this whatever that means for you. Maybe you've been ghosted or you need to ghost them. You need to find your confidence and your courage to not allow yourself to be victim to their circumstance. I think you're dealing with a miserable individual who is hindering you in a huge way and you need to move on. You need to move on. You need to move on, whatever that means to you. You need to get to the better place. You need to travel to the better place. You need to find your backbone to do what's best for you. I feel as though you may receive a new opportunity, something that you have been asking for, maybe something that you have been striving for. You could even receive some help from somebody that helps you to move to a better place. You may be focusing on moving this week. Um... Coming together with, with somebody, you know, this is you evolving, changing. Going through a major transition in your life. You may be coming together with somebody that you can mix with very, very, very well. Somebody that you actually can see eye to eye with. But you're gonna have to drop something first. You do. There's a burden, there's some baggage, or there's some responsibilities, or there's a situation that needs to be let go of so that you can get your reward. There is a reward here. Life is gonna life is changing for you. It is changing for the better. It is changing. But you've got to make some sort of conscious change. This is you making a conscious change to let go of something that is holding you down. It's holding you back. So this could be the week where you decide to broaden your horizons it's like you decide to find that focus you decide to find that backbone to do what's best for you as you decide to put yourself first you know it's not going to be easy but you make that decision to do it anyway i feel like you take charge you decide to take charge and drop something from your life that has been causing you to be a victim of abuse it looks like okay i mean that's abuse so Mental abuse, verbal abuse, physical abuse, whatever it is. Somebody's been in an, an abusive situation in which they have to find that mental strength, that backbone to literally move out of it. So anyway, I feel like you guys are headed towards a better place, honestly. You're headed towards a more harmonious partnership okay um this is like bringing balance after things have been so imbalanced you have the power to bring balance and i see you guys like basically doing it you know i got the power i know i got the power and i'm gonna do it so yeah i know that's the truth, too. This is it. This is finding the strength to restrain yourself, to find the courage, to find the ability to take care of you, to work on your health. i got to do what's healthy for me. 
So I really feel like you guys are really finding the strength and that willpower to face your fears and take back control of your life. It's like a newfound concentration to, it's like you're ready to open up, you're, 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 you're feeling yourself, you know what I mean? It's like you're, you're right, and it's like your vibration, it's like you're raising your vibration, no doubt. Somebody has stolen your energy for long enough and it's like you're taking it back. You're taking back the control. So I feel like this is a week of of going after basically what you deserve, you know, going back over, going towards a partnership that really works well for you. It's like I'm going to go after what I what is going to bring me harmony, what is going to bring me peace for going after it. This is healing. These cards are both healing. So you guys may be healing from a situation this week. Healing from an abusive contract. Karmic contract. Um, you're changing. You're going through some major life changes. You're evolving. You're becoming, you're coming right into your element. And that is no joke. It's like people can see your, your, uh, Vibrancy, put it that way. You are vibrating at a very high level. You are very attractive at this time. That is no joke. And it's because you're making conscious changes. I, think, I see very positive thinking, very optimistic, a very beautiful energy here. And you got somebody who is jealous of you, as usual. There ain't no joke. It's true. But you need to find the strength to drop them from your life. Find the strength and the courage to just whoop, don't need you. Ghost them. I'm sorry. I hate to tell people to ghost, but you got to do what's right for you. So you may be making that decision that, you know, I'm strong enough to take care of myself. I'm strong enough to do what I got to do for me. I'm ready to heal from this situation. And the only way to do it is to whoop, You guys may be planning a move. You may be moving in with somebody. You may be moving someplace to that is a lot more emotionally fulfilling. You could be receiving an offer of love. Some you could. This is new love. This could be self love. You could be acting out of self love. So we have a new start in love here that could lead to a very successful partnership. Somebody could be coming in to help, honestly. They could be coming to help you heal. They may be offering you help. Either way, Sagittarius, you may be receiving an offer of love from somebody. And this could be from anybody. It doesn't have to be from a lover. This could be self-love. This is love. So you have a new beginning in love. This could be Intimacy. This could be cat passion. You may be coming together with a true love this week, honestly. Some of you may be. You may be receiving a message from somebody that really, really excites you. Maybe this person just got out of a karmic contract. Maybe that maybe they're the ones that has been abused. I mean, I'm just I mean, and maybe you need maybe you can help them to heal from the abusive situation that they have been in. There's healing here. And it's like two people heal, helping each other heal. So it's like you two can help each other heal. So you may be coming into contact with somebody that can help you to heal. They can. They can. They can help you to get over the loss that, that you've experienced. And you can help them to get over theirs. It's really a perfect com combination. So you could be receiving an, uh, an, a message or an invitation to... You know, go out on a date or get together or whatever. And it could lead to a loving partnership. That's what I see. Good luck. As far as the signs go, I, I really, I'm trying to get away from mentioning those because it really could be anybody. But we have a lot of air here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Leo. We have you. We have Libra quite a bit. We have Libra quite a bit. So I think that some of you may be dealing. But I think this Libra, whoever this Libra is, 
They're not a very, what the hell is this card sitting over here? This, I don't know if you could see it, it was sitting over here. I'm going to show you. I don't even know what it is. I was like, what the hell? I just looked down and saw it. We're going to see what it is. But anyway, you're dealing with somebody who doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. Somebody that is a liar. Somebody that doesn't tell the truth. It's a karmic contract and they're holding you back from success. Oh, this is release. Let go. Let go. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. Let go of the stress. Let go of the anxiety. Let go of the depression. It's time. It's time to close this door. There's no need to lose sleep. There's no need to live in fear. It's time to go. let go. It's time to release. Something needs to be let go of. It's time for you to heal. It's time for you to come together with whoever it is that you are meant to, you know, come together with next. You're going to have to find the strength to release something first. That's what I got, Sagittarius. Good luck.